Giants should win today against Philly. The problem I have is this division is so bad that each team should win against the other team. But what I like is this, and I think the key is going to be Daniel Jones. If you look at Daniel Jones, if you look at how he plays, number one, he can move here. And he steps up in the pocket. He's not a pocket passer. He's a mobile quarterback. And, but, he, but he can, you know, be a pocket passer. He can step up, dude. And he's been good with the fumbles. He was good with the fumbles last week. I'm going to give him that. But if you watch him, that run that he took off on Washington on, you see him. He drops back. Boom, 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 goes through all of his reads, and then takes off. And if you watch a replay of that, he looked like a little middle, uh, middle school kid running from the high school boat when he was caught. But, and it was Landon Collins that caught him. Landon is quick. But here's the deal. Here's the deal on this. Um, if you watch, and I think the key to the the key to the game is going to be Daniel Jones and Devontae Freeman. I think so. If the O-line can hold up. Will Hernandez isn't having the best year, but he's definitely the strongest and best O-lineman that we have. But if they can hold up and give Daniel Jones just a couple seconds, he's pretty quick. Look at the replay when he took off at 40, I think it was 42 or 49 yards, whatever it was. Um, he goes through his reads quick. He does a three or five step drop, boom, 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 or boom, 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 boom. And then he starts left, middle, right. Left, middle, right. And you can actually see him going through his reads. Boom, boom, boom. Happy birthday, Beast of the East, by the way. That was just him. Happy birthday. Um, anyway, so boom, boom, boom. You could see him go through his reads. Um, there's a lot he has to work on, but I think in that case, a lot of times Eli would have just chucked it away or would have, you know, ran a couple yards and slid. Stopping Daniel Jones during the run is like stopping a running back. He's not going to truck you, but he's quick, dude. He's quick and he's elusive, and that's what I like about him. And there was a pocket. He goes boom, boom, boom. So he's pass first. Most mobile quarterbacks are run first, like Cam Newton. You know, they see a chance to run, they're just going to run. Daniel Jones sticks to the pass. So he'll take his three or five step drop, and he goes through his reads. And then he'll run. And he goes boom, boom, boom. And then he looked and he saw a gap and he's like, I'm going. And almost 50 yards later, there he was. You know what I'm saying? So I think it's going to be, the key to the game is going to be him and Devontae Freeman. Personally, I don't want it to be him running because I actually like Daniel Jones. I was wrong about it. I wanted Dwayne Haskins first and we see how that worked out. Dwayne Haskins is not good. Um, but we see... Uh, you know, so I think it would be, I don't know, man. We're going to need something from Devontae Freeman. Well, Wayne Gallman. I actually like Wayne Gallman better, but for some reason last week we played Devontae Freeman more. Um, Wayne Gallman is just one of those dudes. Against a team like Philly, Philly's tough, okay? So against a team like Philly, I want somebody like Wayne Gallman. Wayne Gallman's not going to run from contact. Wayne Gallman's going to wear you down. He's more of like the Ezekiel Elliott type. I'm not saying he's as good as Zeke. What I'm saying is this. Like, Saquon will bounce to the outside or he'll try to find a crease somewhere. Wayne will just turn around and run, run right into contact. And the reason why that works is because, yeah, you're going to get tired chasing, chasing Saquon. But Saquon's not going to bust 20, 30, 40 yard runs on you every time. You know what I mean? You might, you, you might bubble, you might do whatever, but he's, you know, if you get there quick enough, you can get him. The problem is getting there quick enough with him because Saquon's fast. Wayne Gallman, his runs might be two yards, three yards, five yards, but he's going to do that to you 30 times in a game and continue impact, 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 impact. The whole time with Wayne Gallman running right into you is going to affect how you play. So the first quarter, you might be like, oh, man, I got you. And he hits you six or seven times. The second quarter, man, oh, it's okay, good. Another six or seven times. Half time's only 15 minutes long. I ain't that long to recover. You start hitting that third quarter, and you're like, fuck, man, this hurts. And then he's going to keep running into you. By the time the fourth quarter comes, 
you don't want contact with Wayne Palmer, and that's where he's going to kill you at. Is once you decide, hey man, this shit hurts enough, then he's going to then he's going to bust you up, and that's the kind of that's the kind of backs I like. I like Ze um, Zeke. I like. I mean, I like Saquon too, but I like backs that look for contact. That's why their career's a little bit shorter because they're going to wear you down. And come that third or fourth quarter, you're going to be like, you know what, fuck this, I don't want to deal with this anymore. <laughs> like Shannon Sharp says when you're talking about, when you're talking about defense, he's going to make you think, man, do I really want to come across this middle? Do I really want to stand in this pocket and take this lick? And that's, I mean, the running backs can do that to you too. Third or fourth quarter comes and this guy's run into you 15, 16 times. Defense is going to start thinking, man, you know what, this shit fucking hurts. <laughs> I don't want him to run into me again. <laughs> It just happens that way. And so that's why I like Wayne Ballman better. But we'll see what happens. We should win this one. But, you know, again, this is the NFC East. So all of us teams are terrible. But we should walk away with the dub tonight. Peace. Later.